Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream job. Myself, I'm Malu Prasad. I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in the top companies, which are already available at the LeetCore platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in the LeetCore platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chat description below. And also, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, which are easy, medium, and hard, and also premium. And also created one more playlist, which is consisting of all the questions combined into one single playlist, ordered by their ascending order of their question number in the LeetCore platform. The question which we are trying to solve is. Type medium question number one one five eight market analysis one. Let's see the question. Okay, they are asking write an SQL query to find for each users the joining date and the number of orders they made as a buyer in two thousand nineteen. Okay, written the resulting table in any order. The query format should uh, result the format in the following example. Okay. Okay, let's see this table. This is table number This is table two. Similarly, this is table three. And let's see the final output. Okay, they're asking is how many employees are there? There, that's that they have ordered in 2019. I'll read the question again. How many users are says that that they buy something in 2019 and they want the joining date and uh, the details of the user ID in the output column? Clear. Okay, let's see the question solution. This user ID is connected to this buyer ID. Buyer ID is this column, seller ID is this column. Okay. You can see uh, user ID 1 is there in two rows, 1 and 2. And you can see he made one order in 2019, 8 1, 2018, 08, 02. Now, what we will take from these two rows, only one row is matching. So the Lenovo score is 1. Similarly, 2 Samsung is there. 2 how many rows is there? 2, 2. And what is the month? 2019, 2019. Year I mean. Similarly for LG, 3. 3 how many rows? Only one row is there and he is from 2018. So 0. Similarly for 2014. Sorry, fourth row 2018. It is 2018 again. So zero. Okay. This is what they are representing here. As you seen, they are not asking about item brand. So the third table is of no use. But there is one more caveat. Let's say one more user ID five is there, and the details is not there in this table. Then it should be outputting zero. So what will we be doing? We need to create a left join, not an inner join, because if there is one more extra test case where it's having one more extra table, then it will not be showing in the output table. It will be showing only the four matching things. So let's take this table and write the code for that. From users table a left to join 
orders b on a dot user id equal to b dot buyer id okay let's see the table as you can see it has joined all the rows right now what we want we want only year is 2019 I will keep where year of order date equal to 2019 or let's keep it end Here is the sample output. Or oh, should be end. Oh no, if you keep here, it will be filtering down. Okay, let's run only. Let's do one thing. If the year is 2019, let's create a case 1 statement and keep it as 1. If it is not uh, 2019, let's keep it as 0. After that, we can group by user ID and count the number of ones. I mean, do the sum of ones. Comma. Case 1. Year of. order date equal to 2019 then 1 else 0 and as yt see we got it here we got it what 1 has 1 similarly 2 has 2 ones so we need to group by user id and we need to do some of these things. Let's call this table with CTE. So from CTE table, we will group by what? User ID. We will take the joining date. Okay. We will be okay. Group by joining date also. Joining date. And let's select the two columns. User ID, comma, join date. And also sum of yt as orders in 2019 orders in 2019 okay let's see if there is a mistake With the CTS, select all case when year of order date equal to 2019, then 1, else 0, and as YT, everything is right. After select user ID, join date, comma, sum of YT as orders in 2019 from, uh, okay, group by should be written here. Okay, this should be kept here. It's inside this group. By, okay, we can just copy it. Group by. Run it. Okay, 
Okay, let's see the mistake where we are getting. Okay, they want in the ascending order of. Okay, they want to call it as user ID as buyer ID and they want to order by this uh, order ID ascending. Sorry, this is user ID. Let's submit it. Okay, it got accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends who are preparing for data analyst or a data scientist interview. It will be much help if you share it to them. And also, just try to be more disciplined. Complete all the 230 questions which are there in my channel. It will help you attain your dream job role. Thank you. This is Samuel Prasad.